Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Yeah, today we're doing a bit of a different video. Um, one that probably will be the most least viewed video on my channel, but so what? I'm hoping it's not. Um, yeah. So for Christmas this year, my great parents got me. Um, my wonderful parents, I should say, got me the Dalek Collector Set Two. And um, you're probably thinking, all my audience, what the hell is a Dalek Collector Set Two? Because most of you aren't Doctor Who fans. I know some of you are. Um, well, I'll show you the contents of the set. Okay, and here are the contents of the Dalek Collector Set 2. Yeah, so you get three Daleks, all from separate eras. Um, and this is probably one of the greatest Doctor Who sets of all time. It was very com wi wildly sold, so it's really easy to pick up, but it was sold about a good nine years ago so it's a very very old Doctor Who set anyway we'll review them eat, um, in order so we're gonna review this guy who was actually my favorite of the set but the one big problem I have with the seller who sold it to me as you know his eye stalk is broken which is upsetting because the eye stalks cost like another $20 um, cost like $20 on eBay which is extreme an extreme amount of money for something just to repair one of these anyway of that yeah um in the photo it did actually have his eye stalk but the seller seems to have broken it or something's happened which i'm really ticked off about but no uh, so what anyway yeah this dalek's actually got a weird history if you don't if you're a doctor who fan you'll know his history but if you don't now this history, I'll give you a quick recap. So, there was a story back in 1964 for the Daleks called The Daleks Invasion Earth. And, um, there was supposed to be a supreme Dalek leading all of them in their invasion of Earth. Um, and so they were painting one of their Daleks to be the supreme, but and if they had to shoot an episode and he wasn't complete. So they just renamed him to another Dalek called the Saucer Pilot, um, and sent him off into the story, I guess. And yeah, as you can tell, he's unfinished. He's a bit of an odd Dalek, but he's um, my favourite Dalek from that story. As the Supreme is pretty cool, but I prefer this guy. He's extremely common. In fact, one of the most common Doctor Who figures. But whatever. Um, yeah, his head is on this figure. Can do a 360, but... It's extremely stiff, the head on mine, because it's obviously been, these figures have obviously been sitting on some collector's shelf and not being played with, which is kind of what they're meant for. His gun isn't too bad, his plunger isn't either, although it has trouble moving this, I'd see I'm actually bending it, I shouldn't, because it will snap, and then I will have to buy another plunger, which I don't want to do. So, yeah, that's basically it. Great figure, big base, my only big base Dalek. Um, yeah, so this is a, an extremely great Dalek. I do recommend him if you want to pick him up, although you have to be a big Doctor Who fan too. Anyway, moving on. This Dalek here is called the Emperor's Guard. Um, no problems with this figure at all. His eye stalk is in mint condition. He's actually extremely, he's been taken care of extremely well. Uh, the only problem I have is that his head, again, is extremely stiff. Oh, not too much, actually. He just um, hasn't been played with, which is good. But, um, oh, yeah, his plunger's pretty loose. Um, has a bit of trouble down the bottom here, but apart from that, his, he's pretty good, actually. None of his joints are stiff, except for his head. Oh, and his eye stalk, that stuff. See, if you see me, oh, yeah, no, nah, it's lost its stiffness. But moving down, it's sort of, you can see it bending. Um, that sort of stuff, but this Dalek, another great Dalek from Evil of the Daleks, sadly a missing episode, um, because it's from the 60s, 1967, um, but he's a great Dalek, I think he's one of my favourite, he's like a different version of a drone, because of his black head, rather than just having a silver head like all the other drones, but he's actually really well done, um, so character options are really good for making Daleks, and not much to say about him, he's just an Emperor's Guard Dalek, and they're really common, um, they d cost you like 50 bucks compared to other Daleks. Now, my second favourite Dalek of the set, the Day of the Dalek Supreme Dalek. Um, yeah, this guy is very, very interesting. 
Um, but before I get into that, um, yep, his plunger, actually his plunger is pretty alright. Bit of a creak, but not, not too much stiffness. Also guys, watch out if you're trying to buy one of these, their plungers do snap. Unlike the new Daleks, they're not as thick. Focus. Like the new Daleks, they're not as thick as the new Daleks, they're very thin, like the props in the, um, old episodes, but... Yeah, so they do snap, but oh yeah, his gun is pretty stiff, you can hear it, yeah, I'm afraid I'm going to break that. No, actually, their guns are pretty okay for not being snapped, I mean, my old Dalek, hold up, I'll bring you As an example, here is a version of a Dalek that a kid has obviously been playing with. Yeah, this is my Necros Dalek, he was one of my favourites, he was a sound effects Dalek, he talked, but then my brother sprayed him with some stuff and he's destroyed now. Um, his eyes talk is very loose. Uh, but he, he's, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of fixing him. I think I'll just buy another sound effects Necros Dalek and, um, take the parts from that Necros Dalek and put it on this one and maybe make that one an Asylum Dalek or something. Because I like this, the, he was my favourite, I swear. But now his front wheel doesn't turn and he's like, yeah, he's a bit behind his days, I would have to say. Anyway, yeah, see the plunger snap? His eyeball fell off and I can't find it. So yeah, he's obviously been well played with, but this guy, yeah, anyway. Um, so the mystery about this guy, you may be thinking, oh wait, one more thing before we do this. As you can see, his eye stalk, it's got this little, oh my gosh, focus. It's got this little, oh crap, sorry guys, trying to focus. Focus. I think he's too close, hold up. See, it's got a little dot right there. And then well, let's bring in the Emperor's Guard. And the 60s Daleks don't have the little dot in the middle. Um, yeah, he's a 70s Dalek. Anyway, so in the actual episode Day of the Daleks, the this guy does appear, but his neck section, the little mesh behind these poles and d -d 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 discs, um, is not black like it is here. It's actually gold, although he looks more beige in the episode. Um, it's actually gold, not black. Um, I wish I had an image to show you guys. Actually, hold up, I'll get an image. Okay, guys, so I'm back. As you can see, his neck section is black, and here's a picture of the Dalek from the actual episode, and it's beige or a dark brown. So, they've got it pretty much pinpoint, except for the fact that that is not black. Oh, crap. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's gold, and this one's black. And actually, it's not just Character Options' fault. Every single time they release this Dalek, any toy company, be it Eagle Moss, Character Options, uh, I'm thinking Product Enterprise, anyone, they always coloured his next section black. It's just strange. Um, yeah, and I'm actually pretty happy that um, I have the one with the black next section, or I have this mysterious figure in my collection. Anyway, so I think that's going to be the end of the um, video, guys. There's not much more to say about these Daleks. It's a great set, so if you want to, pick it up. But, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Um, yeah, subscribe to my channel. Comment down below what you think of this set. That is if my comments aren't turned off by copper. I'll have to fix that someday. Anyway, I'm rambling on for too long. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Do all that good stuff. And I will see you all next time.